Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. It's bank holiday Monday today. Me and Alex got back yesterday from our friend's wedding. So yeah, so in the last vlog, you'll have seen me trying on the wedding dresses, wedding guest dresses, seeing which one I like the most. And then obviously going to the actual wedding. But we had the most amazing time. We had a fantastic weekend away and then we got back yesterday. So today, I really wanted to open a big box of clothes. I have done a big net-a-porte order. It's that time of year where the weather is turning from summer to autumn. Not that we really even had a summer, did we? I mean, let's be honest. Summer to autumn. I must admit it's my favorite time of the year. Autumn fashion is my favorite. Especially when it's sort of lighter autumn layers and when it's sort of more lightweight pieces that can be kind of worn and layered up. That is just my absolute favorite type of fashion. And so this was really exciting for me. This is a paid for advertorial with net porte I'm working with them again. I am the biggest fan, as you guys know. I really really enjoyed having a look myself and in honesty there's a few things in here that I have just been buying yeah I've just been inspired for new autumn fashion so so I thought I'd just kick off this whole vlog obviously there'll be loads more in the vlog but today I'm starting the vlog and that is when I've just set up my little rail who remembers this rail guys give me a hands up give me a um give me a I remember the rail in the comments if you remember this rose gold rail I bought this years, years and years ago. I used to do more, they were more like sit down videos. They were more videos just about fashion. And now and again, I do throw those in, but I feel like you guys don't enjoy those as much as the vlogs. So yeah, I used to have this, I've had this for years. We keep it all undone underneath the sofa because it's, I just don't really use it. And today I felt inspired and I wanted to get out all the pieces that I'd got and hang them up for you so you can actually see them. I have already undone the box of goodies from net porte I've unpackaged them all because you know what a box from net porte looks like and I figured it'd be a bit quicker for me to go through some outfit ideas. So this is going to be all of my kind of new fall inspired outfits and pieces and I've also chosen a number of price points in here as well from, you know, premium fashion up to super luxe fashion and I'm excited for your opinions because there are some really, really great pieces in here. In fact, there are so many great pieces here. I did actually buy more than this and I'm not gonna show you it because it would take too long and I don't feel there's any point me showing you things that I actually don't really wanna keep. So these are the things that I'm absolutely loving. I just wanna kick off with my favorite piece, I think, of everything that I've picked up. It is this leather skirt. I don't think I've ever had a maxi leather skirt in my whole life. And this is like brand new in net a -Porte. This is from Kate. Their newest collection is absolutely out of this world. This is one of those pieces that I saw and was immediately in love with. It's so beautiful. It's the kind of thing that you would keep forever. I love the way that it just fits so perfectly like it really is made to perfection in the size that I've chosen it in it's literally made for my size to a T I love the way it comes in and just nips in at the waist lovely and high-waisted what a look right but add in my favorite black patent heels also from Nutta Porte I'll say this now before I forget everything I'm going to show you now will be listed down below in order of appearance as always, so you can find them nice and easily. Oh my gosh, this is just so fabulous. With a pair of black heels like this, it is so boss vibes. It's exactly how I want to be perceived this fall. Cool, collected, it feels very kind of Victoria Beckham, how I imagine she goes out to most of her meetings, <laughs> that kind of vibe. I'm really obsessed with it. Now, um, on top, laid on top, is this incredible white t-shirt. And this came about, I got a message on TikTok. I recently filmed a classic white shirt video and a classic blue Oxford shirt video with Tommy Hilfiger. And someone said, I love this video, but I'd love to see you do this with like the perfect white t-shirt. So I went looking for it. I think I found it. I think I found it. This is such a fantastic flattering shape. It has the extended arm length which I think does give a slightly more fashionable feel than something that's just standard capped sleeve. But what's so nice about these is that they're not too wide. 
they're not too over the top and so it still feels fitted and it feels flattering but it feels a little more fashionable it just feels a little bit more elevated they already have a little cuff to them as well and I think it just it just fits and with something like a black leather skirt where it's all about the skirt a white tee can do no wrong can do no wrong in my eyes. Now, I think I may also have a perfect blazer for this. As you know, I'm a huge YSL fan and they've just brought out a pinstripe blazer. Oh, I love it. I love it. It is a navy, deep navy, almost black actually, pinstripe. Obviously with the pinstripe in a very light blue, almost white. So this is more of a navy finish, but I think it goes super well with the black still. Obviously a blazer like this works so well over a white t-shirt. These two pieces are at the top end of everything I'm going to show you. These are obviously for you gals who love YSL, love Kate, and you like to buy pieces in that price bracket. So I totally get it. I know these are very much the luxury end of the scale. I mean, if you're shopping around on net porte What I'll try and do is I'll maybe leave another pinstripe blazer down below for you, for you to have a peek at. And I know I've seen another leather skirt on there. So again, I'll link those as like alternatives in a slightly lower price bracket in case you're looking for something that's still luxury, but not quite to this price point. But um, as you know, I'm a huge YSL fan and I have a number of their blazers already. And pinstripe is one I don't have and navy blue is one I don't have. It's just all about the structure with YSL. It's all about this incredible arm shoulder structure. It just looks so fantastic. That silhouette, it's the actual dream, isn't it? It really is the dream. I think this looks so fab as a full outfit, like I would go out in the days in this full look. I mean, the quality of this, so as ever, is just superb. Blazer option number one, which I'm absolutely besotted with, I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, secondary blazer option, something cropped, and this time in a grey. This is like a mottled grey, lovely and textured wool, again, oversized fit. It's got the oversized um, elongated shoulders for just extra, for extra shape. I mean, as you know, I love a crop blazer. They do, they literally are my staple for most days when I go out. I have a cream one that I just absolutely love to bits and honestly it just goes with everything if I'm ever like what jacket do I wear with this I will always reach for the crop this is like the perfect length perfect length I love the length of the arms it just fits really really nicely it's just a classic beautiful grey textured such a great silhouette so nice right so that is blazer option number two okay so then we have a little jewellery piece that I picked up. I obviously have my own jewellery collection with Edge of Ember. I mean, my dream is to sell that on net porte because I think it would be so perfect on net porte maybe one day. But I do like to buy the odd piece to throw in that isn't very much like my collection at all. And I found this chain and the price point on this is so good for such a high quality chain like this. Um, I'm guessing this is made in a brass and it's coated in gold plating and it's just such a lovely chunky feel chain. You could mix and match this with other chains and um, have like a, a daintier necklace with this one that's a bit more chunky. I think it's really, really great for the price point. I'm really over the moon with the overall quality and style of this. I'm actually, I'm gonna look a lot more at this brand. I'll leave the exact one link down below. I'm gonna look a lot more at this brand to see what else they make, because I think it's so good. I mean, this outfit is just coming together. One other alternative option, which is a tank. I already own. I already own it in white. I own it in black. And because I wear it so much, I wanted to buy a backup option, pretty much. So I bought it again. But tanks, again, make the best fill a piece with your skirt, with your jeans, and with your trousers. Under blazers, especially. So, and these are honestly my favorite, my favorite tanks, they wash so well. To be honest, usually I wouldn't wear a bra under it either. Um, I'd just take my bra off, but they just fit so great. It's a lovely, lovely shape. They wash well, they wash really, really well. So yeah, I wanted just to buy another one, but it's a perfect fall filler piece, like a 
perfect basic staple. And then again with a ziblaza. Mm, 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 mm. I love it. Gosh, this is just such a killer look, isn't it? Mm, I want to be this woman every day, please. Now this piece is absolutely dreamy. Now this is oversized as hell. Oopsie. It's a cute little dress. Now this, if you're really into oversized, you will love anything from Frankie Shop. You have to look at the Frankie Shop's pieces because they truly own this market. I think when it comes to very Copenhagen, cool girl style, very off-duty model, oversized fits, this quality of this, it's a thick, thick cotton shirt. Almost a bit denim-like, it's that kind of thickness. Now it'd be a little bit oversized. It might be a bit too much with this, but I just want to kind of show you. This would look so great with like a really small little mini skirt with it, and this over top. In fact, I saw earlier on Instagram someone wearing this as a dress. Now, first of all, it looks absolutely massive, but the main thing to do is roll up the sleeves. As soon as you roll up the sleeves, it starts to form a bit more shape. Yeah, I mean, some people, some people would wear it fully just open as a very large oversized overshirt. Or you could do it up, throw on some little shorts and a tank, or just have a bra underneath this, throw on some shorts with it, and again, let, let this do all the talking. I mean, just to show you size. It looks massive, right? But it's all about how you style it up and wear something like this. Um, so like I say, I would pull up the sleeves. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take off the skirt. Someone on Instagram was wearing this fully as a dress and it does button all the way down so you can do that. And if you did want to do that, all I would, all I would suggest is just have a little pair of riding shorts under it or um, a sweet pair of black shorts so that if it ever does ride up then it's part of the look. I mean that does look so chic just with bare legs, heels and this kind of doing all the talking. It's cool, it's different. I know any of you guys that aren't into oversized probably won't love it, but if you are, you'll probably see the vision here. I also kind of love it over the top of this as well. Kind of pulls it, gives it a different look. But yeah, Frankie Shop, these are just a super oversized cotton shirts that they do. They do this in a number of different colours. But equally, they're not all this oversized. <laughs> Have a little peek at Frankie Shop. It's not always this oversized, but there is more of an over oversized aesthetic overall. But I think this shirt is so cool. It is just so, so cool. What I'm gonna show you with this shirt, actually it's perfect timing, to show you these little shoes. Honestly, like, I used to dance from about seven until about 16. Um, so nearly 10 years, and I was a little ballerina. In fact, I did a lot of things, did tap, modern, all sorts. Anyway, so these just obviously totally remind me of my ballet, my ballet pumps. And then through university, they had a resurgence again, and everyone wore ballet pumps out, out to like the clubs. Um, if you remember, I remember me and my mates would buy them. Uh, we'd buy really, really cheapo ones from the shops and then you'd fold them up in half, I'm not going to do it with these, fold them up in half and put them in your bag. And then at the end of the night when we were walking home and we were going to Popolino's in Manchester for a cheesy, cheesy chips and curry, we'd throw in our little ballet shoes to save our feet the walk. So these totally remind me of that, but these obviously are like the premium luxury vibe. I really love these. <laughs> as, you know, as that like really cute little shoe option for moving us into fall when you still want to, when you still don't quite want to wear socks. Gosh, they're so adorable. The little straps over the top, they're adorable. They're absolutely adorable. And again, they're the perfect option for throwing in your handbag for like work, for in between work, for when you're going out for drinks afterwards and you just want to put on a cute little pair of shoes to walk home in or whatever. I'm quite smitten with these. They also come in black. I get on the wish list though, they are constantly selling out. There are a couple of other options on net porte but these I am I'm really in love with. So the piece I've shown you so far, the black leather skirt, the overshirt, the white tank, the white tee, such great pieces and staples that you can mix with everything else. Um, same with the blazers. 
And then this little two piece. The price point on this, I think, is absolutely fantastic for how much I think I'm going to wear this piece. This fits so much better. I previously bought this in my usual size and it fit and it was lovely, but they did do a size down and I just wanted it to be a little more fitted. And so this is now perfect. Bear that in mind. I would maybe go a size down if you want it very fitted, okay? So that's what I've done. This is amazing. Oh my goodness me. I love it. I have the exact, I know exactly when I'm gonna wear this as well. I have a, I have an event coming up in New York for New York Fashion Week and this is gonna be so perfect for it. Um, oh my goodness me, it's so stunning. It's really, really, really stunning. I mean, you could even wear this. Dare I say it, you could wear this even a little bit more low rise if you were having a confident day. This, this is a actual winner. For any of you girls who go on nights out often, absolutely adore this. It feels so great on. So it's got a slight slit in the leg. Love this gorgeous khaki olive. The dream, I'm absolutely keeping it. This is just amazing, absolutely amazing. And like I said, this is sort of premium price point, amazing price point for what this is and how much I'm gonna wear this. So I am really excited about it. And let me show you a bag I could wear this with. This is a new brand that I've just become aware of. The brand is called Cleo Pepiat. They make the most beautiful embellished bags. This one almost looks like pieces of ice. Got a pretty good amount of space actually. You could definitely be able to get your phone, keys, wallet, that sort of thing in here. And it closes with a little popper at the top. But I have a feeling that these might become that bag that you start to see celebrities go to different events with, or um, influencers wearing them. New York Fashion Week, Milan, etc. It's so unique. Look at that detail, so cool. So this is a potential option for this dress, for the event that I'm going to. Isn't it amazing? But talking about amazing, I have another Cleo Pepe art piece. This blew me away, I've already tried it on. Not gonna lie to you, I've already tried it on. It is amazing, let me show you. Potentially might be one of the prettiest dresses I've ever tried on in my life. Coming in a little closer. The detail is unbelievable. Like it looks like couture. You have this sun here, you have the moon, there are clouds, stars. Around the back there's more clouds. And then all around the neckline, a square neckline are beautiful little pearls all embroidered so delicately into this piece. And then there's a tiny, tiny little leg slit here. It's such a great length on me as well. I'm five foot seven, just to give you a bit of an idea. And for me, I don't feel like it's too short. It is absolutely exquisite. I'm just deciding now whether to keep this because it is so exquisite and it's so couture. And I just need to have the right place to wear this. Like if you could wear, if, like, if I had my wedding all over again, this would make the most stunning after dinner dress, like dancing dress. After you've taken off your big wedding dress to put on something like this and some beautiful white heels. Oh, it would be divine. It would be so beautiful. And obviously as a guest, you can't wear this to a wedding. So I'm like, what would I wear this to? Um, it would have to be a beautiful gala dinner or a big event like that. And I'm trying to think, am I going to anything? even remotely like that, I don't know. But I want it, I want to keep this forever. So let me know, let me know, this is, this is a big one. Do I need to keep this dress? Please let me know. I think it's just absolutely divine. And of course, beautiful, paired with the little Cleo bag. Also, this may not be the price point that you think, so definitely have a peek. It's a bit more kind of mid-range. I thought this would be in the thousands. They also have a number of similar vibe bags, very, very embellished, very textured, but with pearls and others have like crystals on them. They're all really different, so definitely have a peek. One last piece, one last piece to show you. 
This one I really want to throw in here. Just as a really quick one, I wanted to show you this beautiful Nancy dress. This is a Nancy Dojak dress. As you know, I'm a big, big fan of her work. There is the most incredible sale right now in Etta Porto for Nancy dresses. We take off this absolute exquisite number one second. These Nancy Dojak dresses are honestly absolutely amazing. I have one sort of similar, which is why I'm unsure whether to keep this or not. It's sort of similar. I think I almost feel like I prefer the top of this one to my other one. It goes around the back and there's a big band all ties together. Nancy creates such gorgeous that lingerie style pieces, but they're just so flattering. This goes into a little mini skirt. Again, perfect kind of evening attire piece. The only thing that I don't love about it as much is the fact that this, I've had to pull this so tight to keep this up here that you can see the little attachment and it's doubled up the string here. So I have to just decide whether that bothers me enough to not keep it. I think it's so stunning. The other thing that I would maybe do is actually just cut off the extra string and instead just tie this myself into a little bow at the back because the chances are I'll probably have my hair down with this anyway people would never really see it anyway like that's how much I love this dress <laughs> so yeah definitely take a peek on this porto at the Nancy sale and then like imagine this blazer over top for an evening out wine bar date night I just love I just love this aesthetic so much <laughs> Right, anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. That's everything. Sorry, I know these Netaporte hauls go on so long, but actually it's because I'm so passionate about it and I get so excited about the pieces um, and I have so much to show you. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts and everything. Right, back to the rest of the vlog. What do you think of this little dress? It's nice. Self-portrait. It's cute, isn't it? I know it's not my style, my usual style right now, but it's cute, isn't it? Sorry, just filming a TikTok. I like it. Hey guys, welcome to Venice for another film festival. I feel so honoured that this, is it our sixth year? Maybe our sixth time coming to Venice with Armani Beauty. And once again, we're staying at the San Clemente. I've tried to, I've tried to tidy it up a little bit because we kind of like bust in here and everything got thrown everywhere. We've got like little goodies. The Armani team have kitted us out with, like, you have some code. I have um, C Intense, which is one of my faves. In fact, I think I will wear that tonight. How lovely, the bottle with the C on it now. They updated the bottles. And the C Intense is by far my favourite in the line. They've got my other favourite one there as well. Santal. Mm. Santal Dan That is my number one for 2023. I absolutely love it too. Yeah, so we've been here for a few hours. We went for a little lunch and I am just getting ready now because we're going having a dinner with the Armani beauty team. I brought this little yellow dress with me because I thought it was quite sweet. What do you think? It's really nice. I like it. It's very nice. I'm wearing a new lipstick as well. Really love this one. I remember when I went to... Um, the Armani Masterclass a couple of months ago now and they showed the new power mats and this is the one that she used that Nalco used on the model and uh, I remember at the time saying like what was that shade it was this one 111 oh just pinky pinky nude I love it oh cute mirror it's nice right so nice it's like not too light but just looks so pretty where's the bag from it's perfect Armani it's another style in the Armani um, range, mm. but it matches with the threads. So the kind of lustrous thread matches. Very lustrous. Very lustrous indeed. I had a salad for lunch. You had tagliatelle bolognese. Which I feel has upset my stomach. Do you? Mm. Maybe it was a bit too rich for you. Maybe it was a bit too rich. I really enjoyed mine. I had a caprese salad. Just used to your bland cooking, didn't I? <laughs> As if you cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a really, really good cook. Are you? Come on. You come on. I'm, I am a good cook. I know you do You do the lion's share. You cook like four days out of five. I'll cook one day out of five. But I'm a pretty good cook, I think. I, I can rustle up some good good meals. Mm, fish fingers. Shut up. Right now. This place is a damn maze. It's massive. 
been coming here for six years and we still don't know all the way around. <laughs> and when we saw Steven Seagal and he looked right into my soul. I'm like, you love that story. I was like, I'm not gonna look at him, not gonna look at him. And I was waiting just till I was passing him and then I glanced up and he was looking right at me. <laughs> and he's like nine foot tall. Definitely. I feel like these are going down a little bit. I've been putting a lot of salicylic acid on them. These two are going down as well, aren't they? They were almost like bites, I feel. Weird. Like, almost like bites. Or allergic reaction to something. They weren't quite spots, were they? It was very odd. And then this, this eye, this, <laughs> this under eye thing is sl slowly going away. It's slightly less sore. So yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm coming back to life. So today is the big day, this is the red carpet day. We have a number of things. We have a lovely lunch and then I have my Chris. My wonderful Chris is gonna cut is coming over to Venice to do my hair. So we're gonna have hair, I'm gonna do my makeup and then we have the red carpet, the Venice red carpet, and then we have a huge Armani dinner after that. So um yeah, it's a really exciting day. So we're just kind of taking this moment, aren't we? chill, get some food and prepare and then I'd like to make some lists of ideas of, of what we need to make, like content today. Oh, I love a list. Love a list. <laughs> Just so we're organised and then we'll be raring to go. Let's go get some food. So this is the part of the trip where we sit inside the hotel room with the blistering beautiful sunshine outside. With the curtains drawn. With the curtains drawn. <laughs> Working out what to do next. I'm... I'm I'm struggling right now with my FOMO of what we're not doing. I'm, I'm stressing myself out, worrying that we're not doing enough already and we've only been here a day. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I feel like there's so many opportunities to make content and I, and I don't know where to start. So I'm getting like FOMO of, of the fact that I feel I'm missing out on to doing, doing things. Well, let's start doing some things then. Yeah, no, I know, I know, but... Ugh. I think you've just been in a bit of a weird headspace the past few days. I'm just stressing myself out with it, not knowing what to do. Like, I'm just speaking to Susan and Amelia about it, and they're both just like, no, chill and try and enjoy it, and like, you'll get it all done. The main bulk of the content's going to come when we start shooting. You're getting ready, and getting hit when Chris arrives, and... I know. It's just a bit... This is why I'm not freaking out right now. Like, I'm just trying to work my head around these cameras and stuff and but there's there's nothing going on i know but i don't know if that's because we're not doing it <laughs> but what would you want to do i know i don't know i just want to do more cool what time is it cool thing well why don't we go down and go get a drink everyone's there at the bar now let's just go get out the room for a little bit have a drink go and have lunch have a little snack and then come back and we can have a chat about what we want to do at lunch okay yeah i just feel like this is like my constant like dilemma that I go through with these sort of trips is thinking I'm not doing enough or that I'm not good enough or, you know, that I'm missing out on stuff and I'm not seizing the opportunities. Let's go chill, let's go see the team and decide what we're doing next so we can hit the ground running because sitting here is doing nada. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at this light. Mm. Wow. I'm so excited that we have this beautiful light for, for like the red carpet moment. It's very noisy in this room, isn't it? We're right next to like the gardens, I think, next door. Feeling a lot less stressed. I just wanted to show you a really realistic moment of the, the thought processes I actually go through on these sorts of trips. We're not, you know, always enjoying every moment and thinking, oh, we've totally got this. And, and you know, just letting it, it doesn't just happen, or at least it doesn't for me, it doesn't just happen that I fall into doing a really great reel or whatever. I have to like plan out ideas. And that's why I was getting so stressed because like, I can't decide what to do for all these bits of content. And because obviously we do TikToks, we do Instagrams, we do the vlog, I have blog posts that I do. There's just a lot of different bits of content and I want to make sure everything every, everything we do is different. So yeah, I was just get a bit stressed, but it's okay. Me and Alex have had a sit down. We've gone through everything that I have to shoot, all my different outfits that I've got. I've gone through all of that to decide what we should do. And we've made a list. So I always say it, but lists really just help relieve the pressure because it's kind of given to someone else the thoughts are down on paper anyway i wanted to show you a few um 
a few things I'm going to be doing my get ready with me soon that I'm thinking of using so I could talk through it with you. So I've laid out all of my makeup along the bath just so I can see everything laid out and I know what I have. So these are all the things that I've brought from home by the way. These are like my favourite, favourite products that I absolutely trust. So this is Luminous Silk powder in nine which I use as a bronzer. This is the uh, powder in two that I use as my setting powder. Slight bit of iridescence this powder but it's just it's really really fantastic. Also does come with a, a brush. I no longer have it because I've had this so long. So those are my powders. Then I've got my blushes in four, in four different shades. These are the brand new Luminous Silk blushes which are just strictly powders in a really beautiful luminous finish this being my favorite i mean you can't can't really beat that shimmer the coralie pink shimmer on this is absolutely beautiful um so likely we'll be using that one later especially as more of like a highlighty feel that shade 30 much more corally tone i think i'm gonna stick with pinks later actually though this is the one that's gone viral on tiktok this is shade 51 i think yeah 51 which is the beautiful pink and then this one is actually from the neo nudes collection um this is number 51 in the neo nudes collection which are more creamy blushes these are the melting color balms for cheeks and for lids and personally this color i love as a blush that's light coral, that's a deeper coral, then I've got a light pink and I've got a shimmery pink. I wanted to bring everything just in case uh, for the different outfits, especially tomorrow I'll definitely be going with pink, so who knows, maybe tonight I could do a coral, not sure. Obviously I've got Luminous Silk, I've got shade 5 in that, I've got Luminous Silk uh, Concealer in 2, then I've got Power Matte Concealer, which is a little, a little bit more creamy, I find. And this is shade 3 that I have in that, I like to have both, just because I feel like they mm, both add a bit of something different. Then I've got all of the eye tints that I absolutely love. Um, I'm excited about this shade. This is shade 44, 44S, which means shimmer. And I think this one is 30M, which is matte. So you've got the shimmers and you've got the mattes. So I've got a few of them, but I've also equally got my favorite Ice to Kill Stella. I hope they still sell these because these are some of my absolute favorites. They're a powdery finish eyeshadow, but I mean, look at that. They are absolutely beautiful. I've used these now for years. So I have those. Equally though, I have some other eyeshadows, which are the Neo Nudes. Again, the color melting balms like this one, but this is shade 20. And this one is shade 22. This is a lovely deep brown, whereas this one is more of a tan brown. So those together, again, they're often my everydays for most days. A fantastic creamy base for eyeshadow, like a the simplest kind of thing you can use. And then we've got the two fluid shears, number sh shade number two. It's a very creamy, champagne -y shade for all over. It's a glow enhancer, you can use it at the base, you can use it as a primer, equally you can use it on top of foundation as a highlight. This fluid shear, this is in shade five. Obviously, I use this more as a blush, and it's a stunning blush. So that's why I've brought that. I have a number of the lip powers and the new lip power mattes. Again, depending on what colour I want to go for. I obviously have my favourite one or two lip power which is this stunning i mean look at that perfect light peachy nude so i always like to use that as like my gradient shade but equally i have brought with me a couple of shades like 117 in the power mats oh that nude it's like a taupey mauve nude no trip to venice would be finished without a signature armani 400 and that now is in the power mat so i've got a red mat as well so i'm not too sure now on what color to go for i probably will go nude because it's slightly easier so we'll see um, and then i have the neo nude lip balm as well which is just amazing yeah i'm not gonna lie to you and be like my entire face is gonna be armani there's a couple of other products like eyebrow products and just looking at them now spf that I'll probably use from other brands. But otherwise, my whole face is gonna be Armani and we are gonna film it to full get ready with me. Yeah, I'll just need to do some really good hydrating on these little blemishes. So hopefully I get a really flawless base. Yeah, in fact, I did actually film last night a routine of how I cover up unexpected blemishes like this. And I've just deleted it because I put it up on TikTok and I've just deleted it because the more I looked at it, the more I was like, the lighting is terrible and I can barely see anything myself. And I was like, that is not the quality of content that I wanna be putting up. So I've just deleted it to, yeah. So from now on, I want some good quality content from this trip. I just want to do the best. It's just cause we're here. It's one week a year. It's my favorite week of the year. It's my favorite event that we do. 
And so I put a lot of pressure, I think, on myself to get like the best content. Right, so, um, right, we're gonna head down for some lunch now. <laughs> Guys, look who it is. Chris is here again. <laughs> so like, wasn't it a few months ago, Chris, that I was like, wouldn't it be amazing if you could come to Venice? It was when we was in Paris. Was it really? Yeah. In February, February. Yeah. we made it happen. And now Chris is here doing my hair in Venice. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just so glad that I can make this magic happen. So happy. We're doing like a low bun, aren't we? Yeah. A, a cute low bun with some little bits out to make it a bit more feminine. So I'm loving this, loving this. This is really gorgeous. How are you feeling with the sides and everything? Yeah, I, I like it. What do you, wait, I need to get really close for my, for my eyesight. I think this is really pretty. You don't want to do it too I love slick. The, I love the way, yeah, no, I know, I don't want it slick either. I almost wonder if we go a, a tiny, tiny, oh wait, no, it's really not, I like, I love that texture you've got in it. What do you think? I, I like the texture. I like the texture too. And by the time we've got this, uh, I'm doing that thing that you hate before where I do this. I'm used to it with you now. <laughs> I, push up, I push up the volume, don't I? What do you think? I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think it's nice. I think that's nice. If we go any looser as well, it's gonna look very similar to how you had it that one yeah. red carpet, but yeah, it's like yeah. really fluffy. Yeah. I yo, I like it. I like it. I think, uh, I, think, I think that's good. What time are we on? Oh yeah, I've got ten minutes. Excellent. I love it! <laughs> and do you mind if I leave my some of my stuff in here? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can collect it tomorrow. Absolutely. As, as long as you don't mind whacking it all over. No, in. no, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at look at my hair guys, look how beautiful this is. It's so chic, it's so elegant. A few little bits to make it super feminine around the front. I love it. This is why Chris is the best. This might be my, my favourite red carpet out of ever. And before I was, I was thinking actually maybe it was the blue one of last year. But now that I've got it on, like with the hair and the makeup, I love it. Do you love it? It's amazing. The jewellery goes so well with it as well, doesn't it? The jewellery is unbelievable. So the jewellery is all bulgari. Oh, I don't want to be nervous. Also, as soon as the red carpet moment's out of the way and we can watch the film, it's great. Okay, we just need to hurry to the boat to go over and then I can relax from there. Whew. Down in that concealer. Those um, diamonds are like blind. They are! Hey, hey, hey you're okay. Doing? Okay. So this is the part where we quickly walk down the strip through Venice to get to the um, to the red carpet. Somewhat nervous. So it's such a big moment doing the red carpet bit. Although I think it's going to be a lot more calm this year. There's a lot less people that are here this year. But this is the 80th Venice, 80th Film Festival. How amazing is that? Can you imagine coming in like the 20s? I don't know what it would be the 40s. 1943 must have been the first one. I bet that was a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, so we finished it with the red carpet and we've had all of our drinks and now we're on our way to the Peggy Guggenheim Museum. We went there last year and like we were saying, we completely forgot to look around the place because we got too busy eating the canapes and chatting. So we're going to actually look around the museum this time and then we're going to have a wonderful meal on the very rooftop overlooking Venice. Elegant, aren't I? I love it. <laughs> Vic just got told off for touching the statue. You just got told off. This is the one I'd buy. Just 1977. We're actually looking at the artwork this time. 
I'm really enjoying it too. That yeah. looks like Salvador Dali, yeah. There's, there's one here. Yeah. <gasps> wow, look at that. Oh, no, it's amazing. Oh. Wow. That is amazing. It's kind of creepy, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. We are just getting ready, frantically, because we have to go get a boat. We are heading over to the mainland Venice now today. We're going to one of our favourite restaurants called Antico Martini. We go there every year with Armani because they do... They do a really fantastic cheese board and they do a really great tiramisu and it's kind of like a tradition now. So we're heading over there. Oh, we've still got, <laughs> still got the pillow. We've still got, the, does anyone else do this? Why, why do hotel rooms have such bright light things? That annoys me so much. I cannot sleep in hotel rooms that have really bright light shining in the middle of the night. I need like pitch black. So we were like, let's prop up the pillow <laughs> against the wall. Um, Today's outfit is such a beautiful Armani white dress. Pretty panels, it's a gorgeous like ruched, silky feel cotton, it's got pockets. And I'm going for this little brown Armani bag with it. And then my, these gorgeous little flats that I got from my net -Porte haul. hall So that's the whole look. And then, Lipstick again. I mean, this is just going to be the combo of the trip. I'm not going to lie to you. I've got the Power Mat 111 with 102. You've seen it. I wore it last night. 102 up top. It's my favourite. It's my combo now. Um, so I'm wearing those. I've not had got anything on. I'm going to wear um, C Intense. And then I am fully ready to go. I take my comb with me. Right. Heading into Venice. I'm a truly oh, obsessed now with these Everyone, shoes. I might have to buy these in black as well, guys, because these are really great. Buy your normal size, by the way, in these. But look how cute they look. New favorite shoes, new favorite shoes. So this is the restaurant you might remember from last year, and the year before. This is a place that I discovered Blue 61 Blue Cheese, which is my favorite blue cheese ever now. And it was at this restaurant, they served it on a cheese board. And we were like, what is this cheese? And ever since, it's been my favorite, so. I really hope we bump into the Attenzione pickpocket lady. Oh, pickpocket. I mean, what, what a legend though, what a hero she is to do that for people. Oh my God, Attenzione. Starting off with some zucchini flowers. This house, this vegetable tempura looks fantastic. Asparagus. This lemon soda is a real revelation. That's delicious. And then of course, Alex has the pomodoro. Mm -mm -mm. By the way, we have to take this home. It's so cute, isn't it? With the big Armani on the back. It'd be nice little memento because it's got the 80 on it. Isn't that cute? Mm. Oh, what a beautiful day. And we've actually got hours now. It's only half three. We have until half past seven to get the boat. There is a one night only Armani Privé fashion show this evening, followed by like a party kind of and drinks. Really, really exciting. I have a gorgeous dress for it. Let me show you my dress. I have slinky black velvet, and then it's got a pink, crystallized pink lace uh, top. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to wear this. Black heels, black bag, so I do a bit of a pink, beautiful pink cheek. Don't know about eyes yet. Ooh, I know, I've got an amazing rose gold. I'll do this. Let's get this like rose gold pink item. That shade, 27. I might do that. Do you think? That'd be quite nice. I might do that. So I'm really looking forward to this tonight. It'll just be another wonderful evening. It's such a great itinerary this time, isn't it? It's kind of like lunch, event, lunch, event. So we can have like breakfast with the team and we can, I've just edited 30 photos, 30 photos just from last night's outfit. How many did we take though? We probably took 500 at least. And I've chosen like 30, so I need to start getting those up. 
Yeah, so I might just start, um, I'll just put loads of skincare on at least. I might leave my makeup for a little bit. Do that in a bit. Oh, it scared me. Okay, night two. This is the Armani one night only show. Sorry, my, let me clear this. Let me turn this up. This is, this is real life right here, people. That's the aftermath of my TikTok filming. This evening's dress. Another Armani number, black velvet, pink crystal. I like the underneath of it. With the pink, With the pink yeah. isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I might even love this look even more than last night because it feels very me, just with the tousled hair that Chris did. What do you think? The necklace isn't used to The necklace, it's unbelievable. Yeah, full Bulgari white gold set again from the Bulgari team, which is just unbelievable. So I am adorned to the nines. Little Armani bag. I think we're ready to go. Just saying you can take the Brits yeah. out of the UK, but you can't take oh the UK out of the Brits. <laughs> I know, and like, we're like quickly having a, our last glasses before we head off for the boats. Very, very excited about tonight. We're just waiting for everyone to duck, and then we're gonna head in. Are we ready? Yeah? We're ready! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. There's no dinner, is there? No, no, no. no dinner. I'm really, just, just for some reason, I've got, I've got food in my mind for no. some reason. No dinner, just it's a show, isn't it? It's a show, and then we'll have drinks and cafes, and then we'll head back and have more drinks and more food. Cool. <laughs> We're just waiting for the show to start. What a beautiful venue. It's all very exciting. Have a good night. Right night. So we're at the Armand Hotel for lunch. We came here last year and it was sensational. We're back again. Wow. <laughs> That's one hell of a banana bread. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. It's a combo you got there, babe. So real. So good. So as you can see, I devoured my half of this. Perfectly cut, ready for you to have your half. You're a weirdo though. Like you've, you've had like your starter, then you've gone for your dessert, and now you're going back to your main. I think this rule, no, no this rules against this. This it's rules against, food. no, what's your, what's your main you going for? Avocado. So you've had scrambled eggs with crab, then you've had a banana bread with cream, and, and now you have, yeah, there's, they're all there's obviously something very much wrong with you. You can move around a brunch menu. Can you? Between savoury and sweet as many times as you just making it up as you go. There's rules against these things. It makes my life more exciting, <laughs> exhilarating. Oh, exhilarating. Okay. That's why I like to be. You've never been one for rules, have you? <laughs> Victoria, rule breaker. Rule breaker. Oh, just as well. Oh, yeah. And a cut. Oh, sorry. 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good. Black cherry is my favourite flavour. Look at yours. Can I try some? Nope. Please. Please let me try. Is it good? You won't like it. I would. No. Nope. I'd like it a lot. Try a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex, I hate you so much. Let me try it. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's all over my face. You're such a bully. Don't worry, I'm fine. It all just dry, all sticky for me and now. Venice is over for another year. It's been another incredible year. We've done some really wonderful things at like the fashion show, the red carpet, all of the amazing meals. Isn't it been so good? It's gone so fast, hasn't it? It's gone so so quickly. We go home and we've got like home. what like we got two days at home? Two days at home. And then we'll be on our way to New York. So that will be the next video guys. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll see you soon!